好<笑> ，OK， let me introduce. Yeah, sure. OK, OK, I think, uh, let's start. So, uh, as many of you are aware of testing an application before deploying it to the uh, production environment, it's very, very important steps. However, the, uh, the limited uh, availability of uh, resources can pose a challenge. So, in this upcoming session, uh, Zhao Xun, yeah, well, yeah, will introduce us to a powerful uh, tool that effectively addresses this issue. Let's uh, give a warm welcome to Zhao Xun. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to use that or yeah, you can use it or both then. of them is yeah, okay? Yeah. Them. Ah, okay, great. Okay, uh, uh, thank you for introducing us for me and then everybody this we and this, yeah. I have pronunciation a little bit awkward, I know that this, but I cannot speak it in Chinese this really well, so I'm practicing that this, how can I say this a good afternoon, but yeah. <laughs> sorry for that, yeah, and uh, though you know that this topic is that there's really uh, like it some very, uh, I know that there's really like it some kinds of some rider or something like that, but I will be sure that there is really work with this uh, Quox this project this. So, I will show that this, um, I will deploy that this node, it's a 100 node, and then I will deploy this uh, 1000 part on the one gigabyte, this uh, RAMs. So, uh, before to the introduce myself, I can show that this, how is this work? I'm the, okay. So, I prepare to the show up to the, the some RAM or demo, so I can show that this, how is it, oh, oops. Where is my video? Uh, is this not working? Oh. Oops. 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 Okay, technically a problem, but yeah, I'm already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I will just. Where is my. You play, play. Yeah. Thank you for your help, Pio. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I already this recorded this as some clip here. Yeah. The the VM is is that they are consuming that the one gigabyte. There's only the one memory. Yeah. So and then I will deploy that this one thousand part on the their VM. So. Yeah, I will deploy it. There is a sub nine node, yes, and then there is a so many the script is I do yeah, I prepare to learn that there's a live with some streaming service library live with some some demo but there's you know that this, uh, there is some kinds of mistake or some, some Wi Fi issue so I'm recording that. So I'm deploying the one thousand part and then I learned the watch command and then how is this deploys this goes on and you can see that this accounting this uh, there is a five thousand and then it will be the some um, uh, up and up and then reach to that there's a one thousand is one because you know that the hat some hat columns is so there are accounting so there is a one thousand one so one thousand part is perfectly working and then I will delete it at their part and then it can show up to that the, they're gonna be to the, the zero part very rapidly. So I can, it means that I'm not a liar. I'm not to the some kinds of some, 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 some kinds of some abusing that as I'm just sure to the really perfectly as my topic. Yeah, that's it. And then back to the, some presentation, back to the PG. So I'm introduced by myself. You know that this, I'm the CNCF ambassador. Uh, with this, uh, my colleague in here, yeah, the Peel. Peel is one of the ambassador in Taiwan too. And I have uh, several some certification. I'm published this several book, even in the Korean. But anyhow, that's um, I'm this uh, one of the some um, little bit special guy for the Kubernetes and Ansible and Python or those kinds of things and then ambassadors. So yeah, it looks like as I'm a little bit there's some level two that this Kubernetes and a little bit special T for the Kubernetes thing. Yeah, and I is now I will tell do the so what I use that this you know that the Kubernetes have a seek seek meaning is that the 
special interest group there is uh, some so many the projects over there maybe you are already used at this kuba spray or kinds as customized as kuba builders i feel like it's i'm not sure that but next session is this a crd this custom research definition there I'm not sure that, but partially they are used at the Kuba Builder or sort of that because it's really easy to build as with this Kuba Builder. So many kinds of very interesting topic, interesting project on the Kubernetes Seek. So one of them is uh, I will tell the some Quark project. Quark. Is this Quark is that? Mm, yes. Oh, yes. The Quark is the. Uh, Kubernetes without Kubernetes simulation when thousands of this node and cluster. So I used that those kinds of tools, this kinds of purpose that the simulation and without the Kubernetes. That's that's the reason why I can this deploy that one thousand pod on the one gigabyte is lamb. So I will tell us how is this. I mean this. Yes, Quag is this, uh, yeah, Kubernetes without the Kubelet. And then I think it is the most of person in here is the developer or engineer. So I can show that this, how is it working, the, the VMs deployed it, and how is it working the, some, the builder's lab as a code. So is, here is a code. I, some, yeah, yeah, I'm really, uh, some practically used that as a background to see it as a really similar to the Terraform is a kind of the provisional tool. And then it will be deployed at this, some um, Ubuntu and then Ubuntu community readers in here too. I saw that, yeah, over there is in Korea. And then Quark, yes, the icon is the Quark. So I'm deployed it as, as a code is, some um, like it is, if you feel like it's, if you know about this background file, there are maybe see that this code is very uh, super friendly but in here there is one vm and it's a top the, the one cpu and the memories are we consuming that is over there and next one is that uh we are some pointed to some version and then i will some code uh, some script is over there and uh, some quark builder script is uh, like it is uh, here so some some of them is uh, some of the line this is um, hide it because it, it is not necessary to uh, explain it here so here is this uh, some script is uh, like it is some binary is a uh, download and i'm fixing it this binary version is above that's a one uh, zero point it is three this point zero point three point zero this uh, the version is should be fixed because it's, I do not want to be at the comparable issue so I'm fixing it the version and install it install meaning it is just download the binary and um, I'm installing this with it this binary is this uh, I just follow to the, the manual and it's very easy to deploy it to those kinds of simulators some um, quark controller cluster uh, some dash dash name demo just just the uh, demo is this context name and then just change that or just use that the context and apply it to some node i mean that the, the node is that here so you are familiar if you're at this kubernetes you are familiar to the yaml file this yaml file is like this here is this provided by the, this quark project so you can deploy it to whatever you want to how many this node you want to be created you can use that this these kinds of some yaml file so and then if you want to be retained or toleration those kinds of some configuration on the node it can be support that in here the taint configuration in here and so you notice that those kinds of repeatedly working some yaml file it means that in here yes in here says so there is so many repeatedly these words and there's something like it is in here it can be swap it can be changes uh, if you deploy it at this 1000 node so it can buy Helm. Yeah, Helm use that so you can be repeatedly working like it's templating. So I'm built onto the Helm and then I uh, will deploy by Helm this 1000 node. Yes. Actually, the Quark project, as far as I know, do not provide it to those kinds of uh, some some wrap or some sample code. But I will, that's the reason why I'm a little bit, it's very easy actually. Yeah, I just make it as a Helm chart and then I will deploy it as my sample. Yeah, ham. And the uh, demo is this again because it's, as I said at this, I'm really prepared to show up to the, some demo and how is it working on. So I will show up the demo first. It's 
deployed at the background. It's okay, yeah. <laughs> Drop it back. So, this when you deploy it as a new simulation, new rep is the, you, you it will be consuming the, the 10 minutes or so one hours is really hard really a uh, boring time really tired time but it's only consuming that this uh, th approximately 30 minutes or 30 minutes is 15 some seconds so I just background mm -hmm. up and then we did the, those kinds of script and the quark cluster built only consume <laughs> I do not expect it is hide it, but you know, it's over there. It's a three, twenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah, I will just read it at the stump. <laughs> so, so, so the, the, the how is it consuming that? Thirty minutes and then twenty one seconds. Yeah, it will be able to deploy it well, and then that deploys well. We gonna be the how is it working on the, some console. So, yeah, before I this preparing that I heard about this the Wi-Fi is not available in here. So that's the reason why I'm recording. But actually, you know, this is every engineer and developer we are showing into some live demo live session. But yeah, but before I said that, as I said, the Wi-Fi is not available here. So that's the reason why I'm recording. So we we have to see that this recording fire. Yeah, a little story about that. Anyhow, it's work uh, perfectly because it's already recording. So see that this there is uh, so many the script over there. The quark some quark node actually there's by the, the some script by the YAML file. There is a nine nine node is available here. And first, I will delete the node. Just delete it. Is this actually simulation purpose? Is it easy to delete? So the 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 third one is the delete is quark node. The code is, is the it already deployed it by this code and then just for apply it is delete and I will check it at the node. There is no any node. And then I already explained it this uh, I will deploy it one one hundred is a node by helm. So one hundred is node deployed it by helm, like it is this kinds of some script. I'm already deployed at the chart too. So there is a 1,000 node is, is very quickly available. And actually the number is the 1,001. As I said, the head is included. Yeah, 1,000 node is very quickly is work. You know, that if you were to do, I, in my guess is everybody is already know about this Kubernetes and then deploying node is really hard to do that, but it's really quick to deploy the 1,000 node. And uh, in it's now we want to be the testing that this how is it work. So I will deploy it this a taint configuration because taint or affinity is really easy to some node is working whether or not. So what's my original plan is this? Uh, I will ask it the oh uh, what kinds of prepare number or something like that, and then I will apply it this number. Yeah, that's the reason why this script is like this kinds of build. So somebody said it a ten. Yeah, I will apply the 10, like it is kind of some pro procedure, but you know what, as the Wi-Fi is not available as I thought, so yeah, 10. Yeah, somebody, just, just for in case, somebody said a 10, I will apply the 10. So the 10 is applied at this the one, from the 1 to 10, and then I will deploy it this uh, 100 part. So it means that you already know that the 10 is applied at the, it cannot be deployed this uh, from the work node one to work node ten. There is a deployed the, without this those kinds of taint configuration because there is a no toleration just for part deployed. It. So many kinds of some working work node is, is working, but it cannot be applied at this uh, from one to ten. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, it's <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. That the demo is is recording, but it's. I do not liar. Yeah, it's really actually working. Yeah, and then uh, I want to be able to remove that on the state configuration because on for the next uh, next demo. So I want to be maybe yeah, it's a little bit tricky or tricks this thing is this. I will gonna be able to apply the node label for the H H one hundred H one hundred is really famous in. 
Taiwan too. Yeah, Korea too. It's just globally really famous as the GPUs machine. So yes, I will apply it the one uh, 100 is H back. This sounds like some car, and then. Uh, yes, like it's this kinds of some scripting. So it means then I want to be like the test for the affinity. Affinity it is, you know that this affinity H one hundred or some A on one hundred. Those kinds of things is we can be really uh, careful to use that or some database or something like that. We can be the supplied really carefully. So I want to be like the those kinds of tests. So this script is this, uh, just per scale this to from zero to uh, two hundred because it's the uh, I want to be the reassigning with this that uh, I will apply it to some labor things really labor is working whether or not but this the script is is just for only the just part there is a, no any kinds of affinity so it will be deployed at this just for randomly or just schedule weighted so there are deployed at this within the some 100 is some um, working node so yes there is this working node for this there are already applied at this uh, uh, we will deploy the path so we want to testing the affinity so I'm gonna be at this to make it as some affinity path yeah next one is here is that Yeah. First time, delete you that this deployed part, and then I will deploy the affinity part, and it will be deployed to that all of them, and then it gonna be that this um, zero, zero part, on the cluster, and then I will deploy the affinity part. Yes, node affinity is available in here. You know that, that, that there is a preference in some accelerators in and, and Tesla and H back this value is included. So it will be applied it within the from one to five. Yeah. Because this library is already applied it. Yeah. So it will be applied as I said at this work node 2, 3, 4. And I'm gonna be at the scale to the replicas 2, 10. So it will be up, it will be scaled within the 1, 2, 5. So it's working, right? So yeah, the demo is over. Back to the presentation. Ooh, yeah. How many times do, do I rep? Ah, that's good, yeah. So, it's one of the some um, conclusion parts. Somebody's a little bit, there's a little, just a little misunderstanding. The quark is that, just only simulating. It looks like it's really working and then really some, some want to be at the schedule, want to be to do that, but it's only simulator. So, it means that even though the, you are the offline, you do not pull the, your image from the internet, it work. Yeah, so I want to be some, this kinds of something to do that only the simulation purpose. It will be really good to that. So I want to say that this, what kinds of purpose to use that? You want to be that this, some, some, you have a, you on some production, you have a devil stage or you have a devil some, some cluster. So you, yeah, that's good to use that. But if you want to be the affinity or some anti-affinity or taint to toleration or to, or uh, topology spread constraint or so, sort of there's some scheduling. Scheduling purpose to test is really good too. So if you do not use that the actual cluster, actual really uh, some resource, you do not use that. You do not need to use that. You just use that the quark to schedule really perfectly working. So you can, you just put into the your Q, Q, QA pipeline to testing is the affinity or some sort of that some scheduling is working perfectly. You are just using that the quark and then it's, it's really get back to well and get back to response really some perfectly working. Because uh, previously, okay. Previously, uh, in here, 
Yeah, that's good timing. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Oops. Oh, sorry. I cannot um, uh, I cannot capture that this uh, actual um, screen, but the so quark when you are deployed at the quark is so the image is this uh, when you are using the Kuba ADM. So Kuba ADM, there are literally actuals that download the image file for the some build to the Kubernetes cluster. Quark is the same. Quark download this um, some Kubernetes image file, and then there are built on the actual things to do that. So it means that uh, so there are same mechanism for the Kuba scheduler. So Quark is really good to testing the Quark schedule and uh, Kubernetes schedulers working as a production rebel. So I suggest to that uh, so use that uh, some just use that a tiny source and for the testing purpose. And plus, last thing is that it's really. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it's a little bit awkward. So it's a really good for the sustainability environment. It's a one of the really good. <laughs> yeah, why well, you're you're feel like it's a little bit strange. Why peers or rap thing things to do that? We are planning to the some this year some the October second. Yes, we are some planning to the some sustainability this environment week with this the Leo. Is this one of the CNCF for some some temporary project for the event? So as I said, so you are using the really tiny resource, really tiny this some um, some consuming this resource thing, and then testing for the perfectly is uh, save the <laughs> save the earth, <laughs> save the earth, save the environment things to do that. So one of the thing is that appears <laughs> that to work. <laughs> I mean, yeah, or sustains you, yeah. So save the earth or save the some some ember thing is this or some you in also same as that uh, some cost. Optimize the cost. You don't use that as some extra resource, extra thing is this a cost optimizing or some pin ups things. So I'm suggest to you that use that as a quark or some of the sort of the SIG project to build on your some Kubernetes lab or Kubernetes environment or sort of the CNCF project is better to use that. That's one of my the presentation purpose that. And then thank you for receiving that. Uh, thank you for, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really hard at the translation. I'm not pretty not sure that, but I double checked that it is really, yeah, <laughs> meaning that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, can we open yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. Time uh, yeah. So we open some okay. Okay. Uh Kerog I think is like a very, very light mini coop, right? Uh thank you for your really good questions. It's the mini cube and then it is a little bit different. It's the mini cube is it's a really actual working and then there are, can be the exposure by the proxy, but the quark cannot be exposure the part to the service. It oh. cannot be just for yeah, sure yeah. to the exposure That's working, right. but the it cannot be the it cannot be checked by the car or any kinds of a tool to the service is really working whether or not. So Minikube and different. But as far as I know, Minikube is a good tool, but Minikube is really different differentiation between it as um, actual Kubernetes. So uh, yeah, Minikube is just for only in my personal opinion, Minikube working uh, well somebody who is really good to know about the Kubernetes and the one person to use it. So, so Minikube is, it cannot be shared really well and then it can be a little bit some translated to when, when I when uh, some resource to the some actual the Kubernetes, Minikube have to be a little bit translation. So I just suggest uh, if you use that the Minikube, it's, yeah, yeah, should be know about this really. Sorry, continue my it's question. Okay. Yeah, sure, yeah, go ahead. Uh, if in Quark, you yeah, can cool. uh, is cool. Cool. is I know cool. it's really hard to okay, okay. Cool. If we can uh, the service cannot be exported, how do you test uh, your application? 
Uh, first I said this is the Quark project that doesn't say that any kinds of some some usage or best practice. But in my personal view, this Quark is really good to testing the schedule. You know that there's a Kubernetes. Kubernetes is the API server and Kuba controller, Kuba scheduler, and many kinds of things as a Mingo as a MSA architecture. So Kuba scheduler one of the some some very good point for the some developer perspective, as I said, as I feel, as I feel. So. Kuba scheduler testing purpose is really good for the some um, using that the uh, some quark and also the code level code levels if the service called YAML is it working whether or not it can test because that they said that it's working or not so it can be testing purpose so sounds like it's some simulation purpose. Does anyone have another questions? Okay. Uh, I, I want to know the implementation, uh, implementation uh, under the hood. Uh, I want to know uh, how many parts inside the uh, uh, one gigabyte uh, VM and to, to run. And do, do, do you know the actual numbers? <laughs> uh, it's a really good question. Uh, the question is that how many parts is the deployed in under the one gigabyte? Uh, it's a really <laughs> interesting question. I mean, I'm, I I already uh, I can express just my experience. I'm already the some presentation. This slide is in the Korea's this community session, and then I mistake to deploy the one no 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 ten thousand par to the one gigabyte, and then the the rev is corrupted and rev is hang. I I cannot be moved further. <laughs> the, the whole session that is already recording that, so I cannot be testing this more than the one thousand. But I pretty this uh, pretty sure that the uh, ten thousand the the rabbits is uh, yeah corrupted. Rabbits is all gone. Everything is freezing. I cannot be do anything to do. The API server doesn't respond at all. So there is an API server that is, exists is too because I said that it's the same as the Kubernetes cluster. API server doesn't respond at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that this, uh, it can be between the 1,000 <laughs> 10,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice question. Uh, let's uh, open one more question. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, sure, okay, yeah. Sure. Can we use a uh, Kubernetes service to uh, is uh, to use the load balance to the certain parts uh, if you want to test the application like the, the previous uh, man talked about? Uh, uh, how close to your cloud cluster to the real world uh, Kubernetes clusters built by the Kubernetes? Kubernetes. First, is a really good question. This the the Quark is you know that there's a Kubernetes have uh, many of the service is a node port or some some node port. Sorry. Yeah, road balancer and cluster IP sort of that is uh, several some service. There is a port tie. There is this. Uh, external or something like that. That's, uh, that looks like a service, but anyhow, there's a, there is a port type of the service. So, but uh, the the s I saw about the, some of the issue where there's a tracking. There's some code thing is this. there are one to be the developer with the service level for the simulation purpose. But currently, I feel like yes, when I deployed it, there's some part and the one to be exposure, but it cannot be reached to the part from the outside of the cluster. So it means that the service is checking the, the like uh, some binary zero or zero or one. It can be work with or not, but it can not be working really uh, so reach to the end point. So currently is not a good way to checking the services or some properly working. Is it okay to do this? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. But I hopefully this will be working so in the future. Probably, but I'm not sure that. Okay, nice. Okay, so uh, let's end of our session and let's uh, thank you again yeah, for yeah, Jinghong. Sure sure. Yeah. Sure sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the next session will start after 10 minutes and thank you for your time. <laughs> so, uh, one more thing if you want to save uh, us,
uh, please uh, and be a speaker at this event. <laughs> you can sign off with me. Oh, in Chinese, ah, is ten years ago, just now, we just talked about we want to save the Earth, save Earth, this thing. Ah, we have we will have a event called Sustainability Event. That will be global, that is all the countries of CNCF. The the this this we are what? That is that is our this ah community ah. Community， 我们都会办这个活动去讨论这个 sustainability。如果你对于这个拯救，对吧？就是 sustainability 有有兴趣，或者是有相关议题，呃，先先不相关的题目，你想要讲的话，欢迎来找我报名，因为我现在缺讲者。如果我如果都没有讲者，就是我个人又要上，<笑>你们又要看到我上去讲了。对，对，好， okay. 谢谢大家，好，谢谢大家。